I'm good. How are you? You know, I am just surviving today as we wait. I think it's a hurricane coming. My friend was like, You're "Fabulous!" So we're, we're we're fabulous. I'm loving the pillow. I'm loving this flap, the florals that you are giving me today. Thank you. I know. Well, I love. This is my apartment, and uh, it's. I like my apartment. It's cool. You know, I just try to find different new spots in my apartment to go to to feel like. I'm on vacation somewhere. You look like you're on vacation, actually, what you're wearing and you do. You know, I was giving myself like a little beach vibes. That's that's what I was going yeah, for. I, you're achieving it. Like, I'm like, where is she? It looks fabulous. <laughs> Just trapped in my apartment. It's been the whole pandemic. <laughs> Um, so one of the things that I wanted to ask you is you were just, you were taking us on a spiritual journey in Desperados and now you're playing with my heart. So I, I want to know about what attracted you to this role of this, um, this larger than life uh, female mogul who is like making money, but just really breaking hearts and love guarantee. Tell me about it. <laughs> oh my God. I love how you, you put it. Um, well, I thought the character was really fun because I, I think she's a lifestyle guru and she's a boss and, but she, underneath it all, she acts like she's so spiritual. She's really a bitch. And I just thought that was so <laughs> and funny because I think so many people that present themselves on their social media is like, I'm so sweet. And the, you know, it's like, you know, they're not always that sweet, you know? It's kind of like, you know, when we get obsessed with, uh, when we are, we have a culture where we're obsessed with celebrities and we're kind of just like, are they really like this in real life? Like, are they just as bubbly? And that's what I love about your character. Cause she's just like, I do not care about any of you guys. Okay. You're peasants. Okay. So I, I really like, enjoyed your character. <laughs> she's like, she's so, she's so bitchy and like, uh, she's like a boss bitch, but it's fun. Right. Cause it's like, she's not trying to be nice. She's just like, I have my empire that I'm protecting. Like, I, I think it's fun to pretend to be that, you know? Yeah, it's like one of those characters, like, you want to hate, but you secretly respect them at the same time. Just, that sounds like, like a better. Like, kind of yeah. You know, even though I think you're, like, a jerk, I, I'd be fun to be you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just for a couple of days. Yeah. But one of the things that's so fascinating to me is... Love Guarantee really brings up where we are right now in society. And it's almost as if love has become this thing that is really just this unattainable goal that we have now. And so I wanted to know, do you feel that online dating apps has really, in a way, kind of ruined romance? <laughs> just, I'm just saying. Wow. I'm just saying. I mean, maybe you're right. It seems like people don't they're more like transactional, like, oh, let's just hook up. But, and it's not as romantic. Um, though I do know people that have fallen in love and gotten married or are in long-term relationships through the dating app. So it does work. But yeah, let's bring romance back. We need more romance. That's what I'm here for. Hopefully your character, maybe in another life, she can go ahead and really give us love that we well, deserve. I want my character. I think she deserves her own romantic love story. You know, in the sequel, I think she should have, have her own love story. I'm here for where this happened we'll get a petition started yeah <laughs> well thank you so much for talking to me today heather i really appreciate it and yes to the florals <laughs> bye, bye.